everyone, my name is Eunice. I'm an entrepreneur, speaker, and trainer. Welcome to my channel on daily people skills. Many people think that people skills is just about EQ, communication skills, and leadership skills. But people skills go much, much beyond that. At the bottom line, it is about who you really, really are. Because before you can manage anyone, you must first manage yourself. So let's jump right into today's topic. Today, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. Has someone labelled you today? First and foremost, I want to begin with the elephants in the room. Can I tell you something? Labelling happens everywhere. Labelling happens every day, every moment. Intentionally or unintentionally. Sometimes others label us, sometimes we label others. It is not about the label, it is about how you respond to the label and the meaning you attach to the label. Let me explain with the following points. First, acknowledge what can be verified. For example, I have mild dyslexia. It's a form of learning difficulty. So this can be verified and I acknowledge it. Someone may then label me as stupid because of that. But stupidity cannot be verified because it is subjective. And by whose standard are we measuring against? Would you call someone stupid if he puts his hand into the fire to see if it burns? So I can acknowledge I have a learning difficulty, but I will not acknowledge I am stupid. Or if you call me a slow learner in the sense that I tend to take a longer time to process information. And that I can acknowledge because it can be more or less verified. But if you are going to call me useless because of that, then I won't acknowledge the label called useless because it cannot be verified. So I will, very, I will acknowledge that I'm a slow learner, but I will acknowledge I'm useless. Get it? So learn to separate what can be verified and what cannot be verified. Why is this important? I will explain later on. So what happens after the acknowledgement? Which brings me to my next point. And my next point is don't let the label determine what you can or cannot do. Let me illustrate this point with this special award in Singapore known as Go Chok Tong and Able Award. The award celebrates persons with disability who have done significant achievement in their own fields and serve as an inspiration to others. Among them, you can find people who are deaf, yet they can play a piece of music beautifully. Down the history, there is one such famous person and he is none other than Beethoven. He is deaf, but yet he had composed many, many music which are very well known even to today. I have perfect hearing, yet, yet I'm tone deaf. So you see, deafness is something that can be verified and those who are deaf have always acknowledged it and never denied that. But they never let their deafness, deafness determine what they can or cannot do. They did not allow their deafness to stop them from pursuing their dreams to be a musician. Know that anything can be used to label someone. Your marital status, whether you are single or divorced, whether you are male or female, you are young or old, the list is endless. No matter what labels have been thrown to you, you can be whoever you are created to be and live your life just like everyone else. It might be a different route or different methods. It doesn't matter. Always remember, know that you can choose whatever you want your life to be despite the labels. Right, there are 101 things we can talk about on this topic and I have so much more to share on this as well. But I will have to stop here for now. This video is not to judge, criticize or label anyone. We are all guilty of making mistakes, overlooks things every now and then. We are all humans, but just be conscious about it from now on. 
So what do you think of today's topic? Share with us in the comments, like and share this video, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out any precious episode. We'll see you in our next video.